In New Orleans, when a young man meets a young lady and brings her home to his family, there's three questions that she gets asked. Who's your mama? What school did you go to? And can you make a roux? What the hell's a roux? Roux is what we're going to make today. Why? Because you put it in gumbo. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour. I'm Sean. We're going to make a great New Orleans dish today. Great comfort food. Fall setting in. It's less than 100 degrees here in New Orleans, which is like sweater weather. That's awesome. We're going to make some chicken and andouille gumbo with red beans. A friend of mine at work told me about it and I'm like, that sounds awesome. But first, as all good chefs know, before we start cooking, we need a drink. Just my good old standby vodka and soda, because I love vodka and soda. I have a little bit of sweet tea vodka less, left. So let's spike our already alcoholic drink with more alcohol. Okay, let's get cooking. We're just gonna brown it. Chicken and andouille sausage. The nightmare of a vegan. <laughs> when you get bored of slicing stuff, take a drink. Apparently I get bored after four chicken thighs. Ah, first time cutting myself on cooking under the influence. God almighty. Anything else I can destroy? I'd have thought I'd have lost a digit by now. Does it count as a cut if you're not bleeding? What's the difference between andouille sausage and any other kind of sausage? Very good question. Andouille sausage has a really coarse grain of meat in it. I don't know if you can see it. It's spiced with pepper, salt, and garlic. Pepper, salt, and garlic. I told you that was a good combination. As opposed to, say, regular old smoke sauce, aroma and all to it, or bouquet. I don't know. What's the smell of pork called? Dead pig. But it's a finer grain, and it's not as spicy. Well, this isn't particularly spicy. It's just very flavorful. Big old chunk of fat in there along with the grain of the meat. Clearly this is not a dish for the vegetarian in you or the vegans. Vegans, I know you think your lifestyle is so green and your carbon footprint is minuscule, but you know what? Your food sucks. Goodness, I've already gotten bitter and I'm only up to the sausage. I want to include yet another kind of meat, um, pork roast, just to add to our gumbo because why the hell not? And also to have sconed all you vegans out there. I did a pork roast video. If you want to know how to do a pork roast, go look at my old videos. Subscribe to my channel. I don't care if they're square. You can make them tetrahedronal. In fact, the more geometry you can incorporate into cooking, the better your cooking will be. This is why you should have paid attention in high school math. We're not going to cook it on the pan. Just brown. A little bit brown. How fancy am I? Rest your meat. Whenever you traumatize meat, let it rest. It needs a break. Now we have the night terror of the vegan. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Semi-cooked dead animals. Make sure you drop it on the floor because that's important. That's an important part. Yeah. All right, next step. Ooh. Time for a refill. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Wow, I'm ending a sentence in a preposition, it sucks. Don't cut your fruit with the knife with which you cut your meat. That works. Oh, but I will cut it on the friggin' cutty board that I cut the meat on, so that's okay. What the hell is a roux? It's the base of New Orleans soups, Creole soups, gumbo, that kind of a thing. Roux is pretty easy. It's tedious, but it's easy. Flour and oil. I'm gonna use olive oil. Basically, you just use equal parts flour and equal parts oil. <coughs> it's good. 400 milliliters. I'm using the metric system. Alright, just throw some flour in there. 
All right, people say you need to sift your flour, which is a great way to get really bored. This is the rude deal. It takes fucking forever. When you make a roux, you have to stand over it and constantly, constantly stir it. You do a roux on low to medium heat. All right, this is on four. Out of, I don't know, the highest it goes is high. The next highest number is eight. You can see like chunks of flour in there. And it's all kind of this urine color, which is gross. And one of the most common mistakes in roux stewardship is cooking at too high of a temperature. Not real exciting. Because if it's too hot and you pour the flour into the hot oil, then you just have fried flour and nobody wants that. Now I told you in my intro, there's three questions a young girl gets asked by her suitor's parents. Who's your mama? In New Orleans, we have a matriarchal society. Your dad makes the money. Your mom spends it in all the right places. People want to know, who's your mama? Do I know her? Should I know her? Did I go to school with her? Where did she spend her money? We don't have royalty in America, but we do in New Orleans. If your mom was ever queen of a carnival crew, that's important. The pinnacle of society in New Orleans is being king, queen, or captain of a carnival crew. The tragic thing about being captain of a carnival crew and the sad thing is nobody can ever know who you are. It's a big secret. Hey, this is a light roux. It's just barely turning tan. You can use that in whatever needs a light roux. What school did you go to? It does not mean where did you go to college. Ow, shit, that hurt. The girl's parents don't care if you even went to college or have a degree. The girl's parents want to know where you went to high school. When I meet people here in New Orleans, the first question I say is, where did you go to school? If they're from New Orleans, they immediately know, oh, I went to Brother Martin. I went to Jesuit. I went to Rummel. I went to East Jeff. I went to McMaine. If they're not from New Orleans, they give me a long freaking dissertation of what college they went to. Don't care. I went to Mount Carmel. I went to Dominican. What they do now for work. Don't care. I went to Ursuline. I went to De La Salle. What their major was. Don't care. If you went to a public school, we're probably not going to keep talking to you. If you went to a Catholic school, you'll be our best friend forever. If you went to my Catholic school, we'll probably have sex later. I don't know. Wait. I went to an all-boys school. <laughs> oh. Imagine that. And the nice thing about Rue is, since it takes a long time, you have plenty of time to drink. That's a nice tan or brown roux. And in the background, i got the iTunes playing. Eleanor Rigby. And can you make a roux? Why do the parents of your new girlfriend want to know, can you make a roux? Mom can probably make a kick-ass roux. Because they want to make sure that their son is going to get fed in the way to which he has become accustomed because a good roux is the basis for all good Creole and New Orleans stews and soups and that kind of a thing. When you look up a recipe on the internet that needs to start with a roux, they'll give you all these freaking complicated instructions. A cup of oil, you need a cup of flour, you need a this, that, and the other. What the fuck ever? Just tell me I need to make a roux and I got it, okay? If you don't know how to make a roux, then just watch this video, because I'm showing you how to make a roux. Dark brown roux. With Waterboys playing on the iTunes.
This is so boring. Who's your mama? That's what we wanted for gumbo. It looks like a big pan of melted chocolate. Big old giant ass soup pot to put shit in. Which took fucking forever. Let's use our roux and put that into the giant soup pot. Time for another refill. Holy trinity of Creole cooking. Onions, pepper, celery, not onions, peppers, and carrots. It is not trinity. That's like the apocrypha. Now it's like chocolate covered vegetables. Oh God. Chocolate covered vegetables. It's not chocolate, it's a roux. If you're not from Louisiana and you can't get on doing, then you can circumvent that by moving to Louisiana. We have kick ass everything here in Louisiana. Once your vegetables are kind of like translucent ish, starting to cook, let's start the soup, soupy part of it. Chicken stock. Oh, fuck. Throw your chicken stock all over the fucking stove. What's the difference between stock and broth? Broth is made with the meat of uh, animal. Beef broth, chicken broth, whatever broth. S stock is made with the bones of the animal. Uh, beef stock, chicken stock, veal stock, seafood stock. All right, most seafood doesn't have bones, they're invertebrates, but you use the shell. Mammals have an endoskeleton, invertebrates have an exoskeleton. Use the exoskeleton, boil in the water, and you have seafood stock. Oh shit, I forgot garlic. Minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic, whatever, I don't care. They say a watch pot never boils. I don't know about never, but here's something to pass the time with. Hi. All right, our stuff is at a nice rolling boil. This is where we, when we're gonna add our meat that we browned earlier. Oh shit, I just got like a drop of freaking hot shit on my forehead. This is where the cooking magic happens. So add that, bring it back to a boil. You can make seafood gumbo, crawfish, shrimp, crabs, oysters. All that stuff is awesome. Venison, alligator, turtle. Well, that's turtle soup. That's a different story altogether. Duck and alligator gumbo is freaking wonderful. Any kind of game. Why do they call wild animals game? You're born, you grow up, oh, you lose, you're dead. Like you automatically lose. Not really much of a game, is it? While you're waiting for shit to boil, you know what to do. Simmer down now. It's simmer for about a while. It's like, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. You're not going to kill it by over simmering it. Now this is an optional step, you don't have to do it, but it sounded really good. So, I'm going to add some freaking loose red beans to this shit. I'm adding canned red beans because you can make red beans, but they take forever. That's like a whole different day. That's like a whole process and shit. Okay, I've already told you how to make rice on here. So if you still don't know, then you just fucking suck. Go watch my old videos and learn how to make damn rice. Okay, this whole time your gumbo's been gumboing, which means that it's been cooking. Something. Okay, you put it over rice. You know what? I'm going to do it the good old secret New Orleans way. Don't tell anybody. This is potato salad. I made a lot of rice, you know, but what the fuck ever. Some of the ghetto people have some great shit going on. And put that over the potato salad. Oh. It freezes great. In fact, tomorrow it will be even better than it is right now. Although right now I think it's really darn good. And let's eat that shit. Okay. 
red bean gumbo on top of potato. This may be one of the best things I've ever eaten, ever. Oh, holy crap. This is delicious. All right, red bean gumbo. God, that's so good. I'm so impressed with myself. Bon appetit, until next time. Adios.